welcome to lab three switch port security really important you spend a lot of time doing switch port security labs i've only got one here but i've put lots of other examples in the theory section trying the different types of uh, security available uh, different options and um just look at looking at your show commands as well and doing troubleshooting there's a few ways they can catch you out in the exam so this is a simple lab i've got a authorized host plugged into a fast ethernet port on a switch you can have a, a router if you so choose and then i'll choose i'll i'll plug an un unauthorized host in the mac addresses don't really matter i'll just put down the ones i think i had on my device so uh, we'll go through the enabling port security configure a static mac address configure the violation action and then test the port so First thing is interface, whatever we're connected to, and then switch port, port security. So let's go ahead and do that now. If I do I set switch port mode access, no, I'll just leave it as um, auto. I think it might throw up an error message if I do this, but let's see. Switch port port security, there you go. So it's a dynamic port, so I'm getting a rejected uh, message there, so I need to set it to switch port mode access. That's hard set. Um, you can um, add switch port, switch port security to trunk inputs also if you wish. Switch port port security and the command is taken. There you go, I've mentioned uh, to set it to an access port there. All right. Switch port mode access is what we've already done. All right, switch port port security MAC address. So we want to hard set it so we know the MAC address of the host that wants to connect. So if I go back to my PC, I need to, uh, this one I think. So I'll copy that. A MAC address, and then you can enter in the MAC address. Either paste it in if paste works, or type it in manually. And then we've got our options here. We've added the MAC address. We've got our options, switch port, port security, violation. So what violation action do we want? We're going to choose shut down. I'm just going to type a command in first. All right, the violation mode by default here is shut down anyway, but I just want to practice putting the commands in. So, comp T. Okay, so shutdowns on by default on this, it could change on your iOS version or model, so do check. Protect, restrict, or shut down. So I'll put shut down anyway, even though we know it's already configured there. All right, so show port security inter interface fast ethernet zero slash one. Right, we haven't had any sources connect yet. Let me just I think I've got a um IP address on this switch. One nine two one six eight one dot two. Alright, so it's pinging OK. We'll see if that's changed. There you go. So because no traffic had passed, uh, this field here was empty. It doesn't matter, I've just did it as a, an extra bit. It won't affect the lab in any way. 
So uh, port security is enabled, port status secure up at the moment, that should change. Violation mode shut down. Aging time and type I talk about in the theory section. Moving into CCMP stuff, but you can alter these and feel free to try these commands out. For yourself, um, maximum MAC address is one at the moment. Configured is one. Sticky, I talk about also, you can configure sticky MAC addresses. Um, I don't think I'm doing it in this lab here. Unplug the LAN host and plug in the unauthorized host. Once the frames reach this switch port, it will close down. So what I can do, I think, on because I'm using Packet Tracer, I could unplug it or here we go. I can change it from E9 to E4. And I should see line protocol is changed to down. Show port security. I've, I've shortened it. Show port security. I'll, I'll type it all that. All right. So secure shut down. The last source address VLAN one twenty three e four one. Yeah, VLAN 1. So that was the latest MAC address on VLAN 1. And obviously it's unauthorized. It should be uh, ending 0, I think it was initially. So we've done that. We've seen uh, what's happened. To re-enable re -enable the interface, you need to plug in the authorized LAN host or change it back to the correct. And then bounce the interface, which is shut and no shut. And I mentioned, please, just to play around and try all the available commands, because this is only one of many options that you can configure. So that's the end of the lab. Thanks for watching.